Hello, Monsters of Anion, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 10 of my Zhao Ming campaign, where we're kind of almost there. Almost, almost won. Um, Cathay's a bit of a weird campaign, isn't it? Because you are sort of like squashed up in the corner. And, I mean, very, very much squashed up in the corner. Because... You, like, you don't even really have the... I mean, the, the Bastion's there, obviously, and you have a constant sort of like, attack on the Bastion. But realistically, like, most of your enemies are the Ogres, so you really, you're only really getting attacked from the southwest at any one time. Um, you've got the rest of Cathay to sort of, like, worry about, I guess, but it's not really that much of a concern. Um, bit of a weird one, but it's fine. I, I think maybe in Immortal Empires they'll be fleshed out a little bit more, and you'll have a little bit more sort of, like, opportunity to sort of deal with different different things um i'm really looking forward to that i'm i'm still flabbergasted that it wasn't ready to go because we got mortal empires within a month didn't we and to, i think the problem is that obviously when we had warhammer 2 we we'd never had mortal empires so we'd never had to like we never had that experience but with with warhammer 3 we've had immortal we've had mortal empires for, for so long that you think immortal empires would have been like a one of the key deliverables for the release. The fact that we're probably not going to see it for five months is genuinely insane, in my opinion. It's such a miss from Creative Assembly. I think it will be great when we've got it. I think when we get it, it'll almost be like a, a brand new game release in many respects. But it like we should have had Warhammer three, and then within a maximum of two months, like absolute maximum two months, we should have had Immortal Empires. So it, yeah. Oh well, never mind. Uh, we'll we'll maybe get there. So the poll for last time was we've got we've got some ogre enclaves in Cathay, and unfortunately they are. Allied with, uh, I wonder if we could. Uh, how many settlements do you have? I wonder. Could I buy this off you, Yeti? Is it Yeti Peak? No. Oh, because it's that's your capital, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have to kill you. Um, um. So should we kill the ogres, or should we try and just accept that they're there, and that it's fine? Because I'm, I, I, I suspect that Meow Meow may side with the ogres. I don't know that that's the case, but I just have the suspicion that that will be. Um, so we're, we're going to have to be ready to deal with the ogres and uh, meow meow when she inevitably tries to uh, to, to well she, she'll just take their sides, which is frankly bullshit, because I don't think one of the fucking dragon children of the dragon emperor would go. Oh look, uh, these ogres have have one of our settlements, and my brother wants to declare war on them. I think I think I'll join the ogres. So we're going to have to deal with meow meow. So I need to prepare. For that eventuality, I say eventuality, the almost dead. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I say this from time to time, I'm dead sure this is going to happen, and then it doesn't. So, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should fight this battle first? It's quite a tough battle, though. That's because they've got cannons and shit. Uh, what's, the, what's the map look like? Let's have a look at the old map. It's the old, the old map. Why the fuck does this take so long to load? Okay. Uh, I mean, that is... Fine. Shall we go for it? Test of iron. They don't have walls, do they? <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's just bite the bullets. Okay, on the plus side, we do have bound spells on our compass now. So Leo the Space Nerd has a couple of bound spells. Uh, he's got two Thunderbolts and two Comets. So that's fun. And we are bombarding the enemy army to start off with. We do have our Great Longmar Riders over there. We've also got Zhao Ming currently approaching from this direction. As we bombard the enemy. Oh my god, they're about to drop a cop. Can they... Right, can they use that Celestial Intervention-y thingy? 
Okay, we're just gonna get out the hell. Just, just, just get out the way. Out the way. Okay, they, they got took a little bit of damage there, but I dodged it. Gave the AI some of its own medicine. Dodged your spell, dickheads. So we're going to bombard the enemy from range until they pull back, and then we will advance into the settlement. Meanwhile, Zhao Ming is harassing the enemy cannon. Because I don't want that shooting at me. So we just heal kick to cannon to death. Fuck you! That's right, I'll kill the cows too! Oh, she survived. Jam in, get her! They're rascally rebels. You're a member of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. So we're going to cannon you, and then he'll kick you in the face. Now, the, the crane guns now can shoot through units, which seems quite nasty. Uh, so we're going to try and uh, uh, d deal with them, because I don't like the idea of being hit by those guys. I mean, I never liked the idea of being hit by them, but they, they, they feel like it's distinctly more dangerous now. So Leo is going to drop one of his bound comets right on that unit. Do a lot of damage there. Do a lot of damage to the barricade as well. But then, uh, you know, it, it's a wooden barricade being hit by literally a comet from space. That's that's bound to do some damage. Another little comet right on there. Oh my god, that just annihilates those crane gunners. Wow. Yikes. Yeesh. That's, uh, that was pretty brutal. Well, they got 275 range when they're on a barricade. Yikes. I just don't think barricades are that useful. Like, they, they seem to die really quickly. And at the same time... Like, the only good unit on them is missile unit? I, I, I don't. I, like, I... I all... Has anyone... Has anyone used barricades? Anyone find a use for them? Like, the towers are useful, but the barricades themselves just seem like a waste of supplies. Supplies that can be spent on towers. Oh, well. Uh, Zhao Ming is... He's, he's causing a bit of a ruckus. Basically, they don't have anything that can stop Zhao Ming. So he's just running around uh, punching... Where, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's just running around punching cannons to death. Go on. Punch a cannon. Or a Jade Lancer. Go on. Punch one. He just, he just poked you with a spear. And he just backhanded him. Keep your wife's name out of my out of your mouth. Slap. I'll do it. Uh, right, we've got a slight problem here as Leo the Space Nerd tries to divert his way through a horde of Jade Warriors. And I'm slightly concerned that the rocket launcher still has ammunition left. Now, guys, just because you see enemies in in the midst of our army doesn't mean you should fire rockets at them, okay? Okay, good. Glad we got that, uh... Glad we got that sorted. We're actually being attacked on several locations. It looks like they're trying to chase after our missile units. Got some special Dragon Guard there, but uh, the Iron Hail Gunners just shooting right into their back. Just bringing them down, and we're slowly crawling our forces forward. The enemy forces trying to create... A new line of defences, but we just massively outnumber them now. And we have a cannon up here as well. Not to mention Zhao Ming, who is beating up the enemy general. How Tao? More like how dead. Thought I had something there. So that's going fine. The great Longmar riders chasing down fleeing units to make sure they don't come back. Uh, yeah, we definitely we we have full control over the city as they just start feeding units into our kill zone. Some celestial crossbow. I I, I never got celestial crossbows. I never built the building in time. Never mind. It's been a fairly short campaign, really. Like, Cathay's just in a weird place, isn't it? I mean, like, geographically.
Like, it doesn't really have a threat apart from the Bastion. There was a point several episodes in where it all looked like it was going to go to pots when there was chaos running, but we, we managed to, like, repulse them and get hold of the Bastion, which was very satisfying. But then, sort of, like, once you kind of, like, got control of the Bastion, it's actually not too tricky to hold it. I think the, the worst bit is actually getting control of it. Because, obviously, regardless of your your start, you don't actually start in with any... Even, even Meow Meow doesn't actually start in control of any of the gate. It's ruined. So you have to sort of, like, rebuild it. Well, those peasants got gunned down, but they're poor, so who cares? More units being fed into the meat... Oh, it's, it's absolute carnage. I do love the aesthetic of Cathay. I just don't know if I enjoy Cathay as a faction. I think I prefer the demon factions. To be honest, I think I'm coming down on the fact that maybe I like... I like armies which are more sort of like fast attack than anything else. Like, I love the Beastmen because they're very much like just get in your face and kill everyone. And may maybe that's just my bag. Maybe that is my Total War kink. Okay. That's one down. Uh, Leo has got a horse, which is great, but he had a... Uh, where? Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, so he's, he's on his horse. I need to remember to set him on his, uh, his compass again. It's a problem with paying the uh, the campaign after the patch. Everyone, as soon as they fight in a battle or level up or anything, they just they get their mount, which is fine. But if, if they've already got the mount, then they kind of it just sort of like overwrites it. I guess it's maybe if you didn't get the horse. Did I get the horse for Leo? I probably didn't actually, did I? Uh, let's get a Plague of Rust. And you have everything. So, I don't know, be a specialist? There we go. Right. We are perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Nine from building, seven from characters, two from technology. Which is true. We don't have... So, I, I take it like the events thing. That that only does it for a little while. Like why? I, I wouldn't mind if you had an event where it was like, oh, this will give you yang or yin for forever. Like plus two forever. So you can go, okay, I can sort of like build around that then. But the events just seem to like, they don't seem to tell you how long it is for, and then they just, it just seems to disappear after a while, and then there no one. I don't know. I, I like the balance thing because there's a, there's a massive benefit from having it in balance, right? And it's quite tricky to keep it there. So it's, it is a balancing act, which is just like the name. But oh, we are going to have an attack from the Bastion. It is going up with 3% a turn, which isn't very much. Uh, these lads. I've had a bad time. Can we just go out and attack them? Actually, should we attack them? Because if we don't attack them, they, they won't respawn, right? They'll just sit there with their sad little sad little armies looking sad. Which is kind of like, yeah, that's, that, that's, that works. That works for me. Oh, I would like to upgrade you. Can we upgrade any of the settlements? It's obviously the... The tankier you are, the better you are. No? Okay. I guess more defensive supplies is good. Um, upkeep for armies, also pretty good. Something like that. Right. We are going to have to kill Meow Meow. I think we're going to have to kill Meow Meow. If we're going to attack Meow Meow, probably having the celestial intervention as we saw in that previous battle anyone can use that not just me if you're a cafe faction so having that if we attack mm. yeah okay 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 what we need to do is we need to get Zhao Ming down to the bridge of heaven to take that out oh, mind you we've got you haven't we so actually, you can deal with that. That's fine. We can bring Xiao Ming down to deal with Meow Meow. 
I don't think the pink ogres have any army. They have a settlement over here. See, th this is the problem with... Um... Yeah, we're not going to do that. Outpost available. Um, okay. With Zinch's bullshit. I I suspect... My TED campaign, obviously, I've, I've finished that now. But... And I'm having a lot of fun in the Slanesh campaign, actually. It's uh, really, really, really good. Really enjoying that. I wasn't sure that I would, but I definitely am. But, um... Oh, I forgot where I was going with that. Lost my train of thought. Never mind. Okay, you guys, I think I can fire you. Let's get rid of you guys. Because I don't think we necessarily need you. So we've got three armies on the go, plus a couple in the Bastion. Just to keep that, you know, all locked down. Uh, let's get some more archers, because then... Celestial ancestors. We can fill them full of arrows. Uh, I could potentially... I feel like just box that. I mean... They do less damage, but... Alright. All right, let's do something like that. Let us get the Alchemist Compact. So what sort of text do we have right at the end of the tree? Upkeep minus... F wow, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Casualty replenishment rate and upkeep for Yang armies. That's pretty good. Income from Hanyu Port Settlement, plus 50%. There must be improvement. Okay, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Interestingly, though, it does say that Han Port, the Dragonfleet Age... I wonder if maybe... Because it, it does... The, the fact that Zhao Ming doesn't start in Shangyang, which, kind, which has this great embassy building... Which we really need to build, don't we? Offspring of dragons. Um, more defensive supplies is fine. I'm just yeah, that's probably all right. That's probably it's probably all right. All right, we'll move you up there just to prep for the inevitable attack. Creator, Disharmony, only one though, that's fine. We can work on that. Descended from celestial glory. It suits my purposes. Okay, we have an army there. The Emperor. <laughs> Miao Ying is there. Get out of my mind. So ba basically we're just gonna move armies into position. Born to rule. In, on on the off chance. On the off oh, for fuck's sake. Hello, Kairos. Power in the blood. I will be obeyed. Now, I'm like 90% sure. I don't even know who you are. What can you do? Can you do anything against this? You can hinder replenishment. That is literally useless. So you are. F um, you know what? Actually, just go in this army. I, will of all I don't know what you can do. You can do Searing Doom. I mean, it's better than a kick in the teeth. Get in there. That's fine. So we need to take the mines of Nanyang, which don't have any mines in it. Yeah, you're just going to sit there. Uh, tell you what, you come over here and join this army. Commandment available. Hmm, what do we want to do? Uh, research rate, yes. Let's go research rates. Caravan dispatch. I'm going to be honest, I, there's not really much point sending out caravans at the moment because there's so many chaos armies wandering around that they will, it will just get wrecks. It's a real shame, actually. 
do not believe the slander. Because when it, when you start off, it's like a good it's good fun. I think I think making the caravan attackable on the campaign map by just normal factions was a mistake, in my opinion. I think they should be attacked by sort of like um, event armies. It's like if you go in a node where, for example, there's orcs, you should have a chance to be attacked by orcs. And obviously, if that faction is aggressive towards you, it should be a much higher chance. I think that would be fine. I'd be okay with that. Um, but just getting like jumped by three armies that happen to be in the area is uh, kind of garbage. Uh, military access. You, I am going to say... Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, there's no like... I'm just making sure that Kairos... hasn't just like jumped across the bastion i wonder if he can from there of you know what just Forbidden just come over here okay kairos is over there at the moment oh god that's a horrible army Shaper of the eight winds. okay we might lose Wang Chang, but that's a sacrifice I am willing for them to make. Holy shit, she actually helped me. Oh my god, I genuinely didn't think that would happen. I honestly thought she would just try and murder me. We're going to send in the poor people first because no one cares about them. So we've got the peasant long spearmen. They are going to go and stand in front of the enemy gates. Settlement entrance, that one. I mean, they do have 17 bonus foot large, which does mean that, you know, they are quite nasty. And then behind them, we have the Jade Warrior Halbards, who also have bonus first large, but also better stats, which means these guys actually very, very nasty to large units. Um, now, while these guys have charge reflection, a, a, a few people have um, complained about how Nurgle doesn't have any anti-large. And, you know, he, he doesn't. However, I would say that the Plague Bearers... Even if you take the Jade Warriors with Halbards here, who have some anti-large, the, the Plague Bearers, particularly the Exalted Plague Bearers, have stats that are far better than these guys. They may not have the charge defense, but they have more health and physical resistance, which means that they're more likely to take a charge better than these guys unless these guys are braced. But... I don't think Nurgle desperately needs anti-large. There's certainly nothing wrong with that, but I've just seen a few times people, no, they don't have any, no anti-large. I mean, I think the Plague Toes now have a tech that gives them anti-large. The Plague Toes are just kind of meh. I mean, they're fine, but there's just better units. Anyway, these boys are going to charge down the hill. Our poor people aren't braced. Means they're going to get thrown around. However, the Jade Halbards are, which means that when these ogres come careering down into them, these halberdiers are going to really mess them up. And there's not much they can do about it. Meanwhile, we're bringing in our missile units from behind. You know what I wish is that the Sky Lantern gave, because um, I don't, I don't believe the Sky Lantern actually gives. Do they have this? Oh, it's got this. Oh, okay. So the Sky Lantern does give off the Yin Harmony? Or does it? I don't think it actually affects non-flying units, but maybe I'm wrong? Because it doesn't look... It doesn't look like you're getting the Harmony? I could be wrong. Well, maybe you are. 
to Sky Lantern's work? Because that could way because you know, keeping keeping units in position is a real pain in the ass for Cathay. Having lanterns could could help. Maybe they should have like a specific unit that just gives off whatever. I guess that would kind of be broken. You just take a unit and then I don't know. It feels like I mean, a cafe is all about having like a really harmonious, strong front line, isn't it? Kind of doing that missile and ooh, missile and infantry shenanigans. Okay, so far so good. We managed to clear out the entrance to the city. Anything that comes anywhere near us gets torn to pieces. Just getting riddled with crossbow. I mean, we don't actually have that many crossbows here. Is it like three units and then a peasant archer, I think? Is that right? No, th we've got three units of crossbows. And then we have an Iron Hell gunner. But we've managed to clear out that first section. They're all now fleeing back the way they came. These Noblars getting out of dodge. Oh, right into that big packed blob of Noblars. That was absolutely devastating. 85 kills on the cannon. I do like artillery. I do like shooting people as well. Things will come up in my eventual court case. Still, the Noblars running backwards and forwards are just soaking up fire. Not, not doing a very good job. But it looks like they're pulling back to the city centre. While we have done significant damage to their forces, they still hold the city centre, which means we're going to have to push into the settlements to deal with them. You can see the Noblars. Uh, but she uh, destroyed the barricade there, not by aiming at it, just by firing in the general direction. Doppler trappers are retreating. Get rid of those ogre bulls. We're now moving our forces into the city using the peasant long spearmen first, of course, because they're poor people and no one cares about them. Okay, those ogres are shattered. They are out of here. One, Just the one boy with 55 hit points. He's weaving. He's dodging and weaving. Unlike the youngest Stark, who, who didn't know how to do that. And that's why he was shot in the back. These Noblars trying to come back to fight. And then running away as soon as they take a, a few crossbow shots. Uh, we do have some Noblars heading towards us down here. The Peasant Long Spearmen. Just forming up into position. Getting, so, getting charged by some Noblars. We're just like creating a little cordon here so we can bring our missile units and cannon up as well. And we do have a little piercing tower there, but if we take this victory location, that will then crumble. We do have some more ogres with iron fists moving in on our flank. So we're moving some of the Jade Warriors so like block off the flanks just in case. And then the missile units moving up as well. And the cannon and the Sky Lantern. I don't really build Sky Lanterns because I don't think they're that useful. I mean, though, to be fair, you you have got 32 kills. That's legitimately not bad. So, do you have the bo I guess you do have the bonus. So, I guess you can use the Sky Lantern to, like, beef up your melee characters if none of your missile units are in range. That does kind of make them more useful. Okay, let's take down these ogre, ogre balls. They are now surrounded by halbards and being poked to death, and they are losing health very rapidly. Ogres have a real issue with anti-large, although it's kind of to be expected, I guess. Okay, crossbows moving into position. And the peasant long spearmen dealing with the Mornfang cavalry there. Now the crossbow's in position. So we can get those lovely shots off. Deal with Malguts. Which is what Ming Fan is doing. Get him, Ming Fan. Go on. Kill the big baby. You know Kung Fu, probably. Okay, Malgar is out of here. The crossbows just seeing off those Noblars doing some damage to the barricades as well. The enemy still holding on for the moment, still with only with 400 left, although the vast majority of that is, is Ogre. Well, no, I'll say that. They've actually got like 103, so like uh, two-thirds, unless they've got more Noblars. There's more Noblars. 
Uh, no, that's Ogre Balls. I stand corrected. So a lot of the rest of their army is actually Ogres. He says, finding units of Noblars here and there. A good half of their army is Ogres. Probably. Uh, the poor people have taken a lot of, a lot of damage there. They've actually managed to kill 70, though. I mean, damage dealt as gold, 746. That is legitimately not bad. This barrack... What? Oh, CA. Literally unplayable. Like, what is going on there? Go, poor people. Go. You've got nothing to live for anyway because you're poor. There we go. I'll pay you double at the end of this battle. What? What's what's twice of nothing? Okay, we've got Ogres charging into the Jade Warrior Halbards and the Peasant Long Spears over here. But I, I just don't think they're going to stick around for too long. Yeah, that... They're just getting absolutely torn to shreds. To shreds, you say. By the, the missile fire. And we're now pushing forward with the howl bars that the poor people have run away. Enemy army not yet. Yeah, they're, they're down to 300 now. They still have their general, the Slaughtermaster, Mal Bob. I think he's the faction leader. He's actually done because he, he's got that, uh, that more spell. Is it one there? Oh, Bone Crusher. So he's actually done quite a lot of damage with that. But now we've got our Halberdiers in here. Should be able to finish them off nice and easily. We're bringing in more Halbards on this flank as well. We're moving our forces forward. Now, does this actually... So, do you have the you do have the extra bonus? So I, I guess the Sky Lantern does, in fact, give off an aura of of Yin, which does mean that you can you can use those. I mean, if it doesn't get shot down, it, it's a. I mean, it, it's just taken several scrap balls to the whatever they the balloon, and it's still standing, which is pretty in fact pretty impressive. I don't actually care what happens to this army because if it dies, um, it's not my army really anyway. It's the other faction that I confederated last episode. So who cares? Not I. Still looks like we've done enough damage to break the enemy army. As the Jade Lancers come in from the rear, catching those ogres, sort of before running off again. That's fine. The, the important thing is that ev everyone's dead. Okay, well, I'm genuinely surprised that Meow Meow's taken... Uh, taken my side. Honestly thought I'd have to kill her, but... Evidently, we cool. We will bring order. They cannot be However, will she be so cool about the next one? The Book of Arkham. Arkham. Arkham Asylum. It's fine. Um, right. So, we need to kill these guys. Although, there's going to be a little rebellion there. I mean, there's going to be a little rebellion here. Here. Why are you sad? Scaven corruption. So, unless... so, one, one of the things I don't like about Cathay is the fact that unless... There, there's no way... Apart from this, I guess. I think we're going to have to do that. There's no way to, like, deal with corruption. Apart from being in harmony. That's the only way you can deal with it. Um, that's still not going to actually affect. Um, they, they, they really need some sort of like anti-corruption building. I think that would be... Because 
You get minus five corruptional provinces, but that seems to be the only way you can get anti-corrupt. They don't seem to have any buildings. Unless I'm, like, blind. Let's look at all the max level buildings. That's research rates. Uh, campaign line of sights. So that does remove corruption, but then they don't have any... They don't have, like, advanced economy buildings, do they? So, yeah, they don't really have any way to stop corruption, which is just a bit weird. Like, may maybe the city should have buildings... The dragons will be proud. More advanced infrastructure buildings that provide, like, more than one balance, so you can kind of, like, use those, maybe, I'm thinking. Something like that. I don't know. Um, I was born to wield yeah. So, I mean, if, if we have, like, a retrospective look at Cathay's mechanics, um, the compass is nice, like, that's fine. It's kind of forgettable, but that's, that, it's okay. That's, that's fine. The caravans are actually a lot of fun, but later on, it becomes a bit of a mess. Um, I particularly think, like, if, if you have the rifts on as well, because you have all those, uh, like, eventually you have all those rift armies wandering around, the likelihood of you getting a caravan through is so minimal that I genuinely don't think it's worth the effort later on, um, which is a real shame. Then you've kind of got, like, the, the, har no, the, the harmony. I, I like the harmony. I think that's really nice. Just generally, I just think it's a good mechanic. Although I would like to see some additional ways to remove corruption. Because if you have like over... If you have something generating 10 corruption, well, that's just tough luck, I guess. You're just going to have lots of corruption, nothing you can do about it. Um, and the Bastion is, is fine. Although I think the Bastion threat is kind of bullshit. Like, the way they just keep spawning every single time is is just kind of naff. Um, I don't, I mind you, we can, if we kill these guys, that will reduce the threat, won't it? So I can, like, bop you. Oh, yeah, so we can just, like, kill you. I guess that does kind of... I, once you've got the Bastion under control, you can kind of, like, manage it. You're running away. I'm not surprised. Just one, just one little man all by himself. Never mind. I mean, Never that will, Never falter. that will take a long time to, uh, I, I, okay. I, I guess, I guess I'm coming down on it being like fine. I think the wording of that should be changed though, because they will attack once it reaches the highest level. That's not true. They just constantly attack. Um, it's just, that it's not, doesn't take too much out of your day. Basically, uh, we need uh, two black. So let's maybe go with that. The other thing I would say is that while I like the different economy buildings, you're more interested in the the harmony than actually what you're building. Which which makes building cafe settlements kind of just like, I guess I'll build this one because it's the right colour. Rather than like trying to make any interesting sort of like bringing together synergies and i really like synergies and settlements uh the, the slanesh one particularly because that, that's got a lot of stuff going on um in, in more ways than one but that that does mean that you kind of have this interesting interesting way to sort of like build your settlements which is is really nice iron the iron dragon's gonna sit there just in case just in case uh, I, I do like Flock of Doom. So let's go Flock of Doom. Um, I need to build this building. Nope, that's the wrong building. I need to build this building. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to have Rebellion down here, but I guess that's fine. Like, you know, no worries. I don't know who you are. Hello. It shall be as crippling as well, it was. You you fucked that guy over. Jeez. Good stuff. Good work. Compass direction. I'm going to leave. Well, do I leave it there? Mm, mm, mm. 
Uh, I guess... Okay, I, I guess that that is another way to reduce corruption. So, all right, fair play. You can use the compass. That does work. I guess they might have an anti-corruption thing there. Oh, they do have minus five corruption there, so we, we could use that. We don't have the settlement, though, because we can't actually use that. Uh, anything that increases public order? Yes, let's build that one. We've got a commandment over here. You are sad, so let's get some control in there. I'm not going to dispatch a caravan because I kind of don't see the point. The last one got murdered by Ted. The fuck are you guys attacking across the other side of the fucking world? Like, what was that? It was something like, no, we're gonna we're gonna go and kill. Uh, oh, oh, it's a car. What the fuck? I guess they they decided against it, but did they? Like, legitimately, did they decide against that? Because for some reason, like, I, I don't know if the it's, I don't know if the player bias was a problem or just the AI being a really s fucking stupid at picking its objectives. Um, desert region. Ah, that's fine. We can get to Shang Yang. Let's bring you over there. You can stay there for a minute. We have. It shall be. Wrecked those fools. Uh, you got sure aim. It befits my high station. That'll do. Right, taking the tower of Ashir shouldn't be particularly difficult. I guess it just depends whether whether Meow Meow wants to be chill or whether we, she wants to get all up in my shit. Now the poll for next time, since it looks like we we might be about to win, is going to be um, so. I, I know from from looking at the poll last time, it did seem that the Warhammer games had won, but it's, oh, it's even. It's even. So it's got three kingdoms and still a Warhammer on 30 each. So we're going to play three kingdoms. Um, I think if Warhammer had like really smashed it out of the park, I would have gone, okay, let's, let's play Warhammer 2 instead. But the three kingdoms being, you know... I being even and because and because the Warhammer games kind I mean it was, it was Warhammer 2 was 25 another type was 26 but three kingdoms get that so we're going to play three kingdoms uh, which I know might be a bit disappointing to some people potentially I guess maybe um, so I'm actually going to do some other videos at the same time like little bitty ones just for Patreon supporters Just, just some odds and ends that I quite like, and that's only going to be for Patreon supporters. So there will be, so we'll be playing Three Kingdoms next. Allocate shifts as required. Come over there. Can we reach them in one turn? Do we think? E maybe not. Oh, but you're apparently okay with it. Oh, because you're on the road now, aren't you? That's why. That's fine. Um, so we can hit the Tower of Ashir next turn. So I guess so. I'm gonna put two. I'm gonna put two polls up. The first is: Should we be playing uh, romance, or should we be playing records? So ram, romance or records, and then I'm gonna throw. I kind of want to play bandits, but I've I've read a lot of bad stuff about the bandit factions. That they're just kind of like they're fine. Until late game, when they just become a bit shit, because there's nothing really you can do about their... They don't really have a... If they had a unique way to win the game, that might be something, but they don't. Uh, so you just kind of have to suck it up. So we will... Uh, let's see how this goes. No, she... Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll resolve that one. Nice and easy. Bosh. I'm honestly surprised. I thought Meow Meow would just fuck me over. She has not. Uh, good stuff. Uh, let's reduce corruption here. That should hopefully get people to chill. Okay, well, there we go. Meow Meow has... Uh, we've, we've, the whole of Cathay is ours. Apart from the two settlements. I mean, we, we're protecting the Bastion because Meow Meow shit the beds very early on. Goodness me, didn't she? We've still got five turns until we build that, that thingy-majig. So I might just, like, skip ahead. Um, so, yeah. So I'll, I'll put some factions up for three kingdoms. 
Is there anything that will reduce corruption, maybe? There are some really nice texts in the... In the cafe tree. Right, so yeah, we'll, I'll put some factions up and also whether we should be playing romance or records mode. Whether we should be doing that. I'm probably not going to put any bandit factions up just because I think they're kind of broken. And not yellow turbans either because, again, they're just absolute ball like at the moment. Um, but the Nan Man and the sort of like the Imperial factions, that could be quite good. What's this? Inhale the contents ourselves. Uh, we will... Hmm, that's corruption. Ah, let's make people happy. Corruption never hurt anyone. Even... I, I, I genuinely don't know why... Why we have five corruption from local populace here. That seems a little bit extreme. But I guess it's... I guess it's fine. Winter magic will steadily decrease in strength. I, I guess that's actually quite useful if, like, Kairos is wandering around Cathay, because if you reduce the Winds of Magic, that actually does damage to demon armies. So that would cause them to have some, some issues. So, yeah. Romance or Records, and I'll also put a bunch of factions up. Which ones we should maybe try. Uh, maybe, maybe the different... Because there's different time frames as well, isn't there? So maybe ones from the different time frames. I'm not sure. I'll s have a look at the poll. Vote for what you like. Um, I'll also be putting some special Patreon videos uh, up as well. Just just because I feel like it, really. Uh, the Patreon supporters, thank you very much. Great bunch of guys. Just waiting for this building to be built now. I might just put a jump in. So there we go. The Xiaoming campaign completed. The Cathay campaign is a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because you are... It, it almost feels like you're in a set... Whole, almost like a separate map compared to the rest of the campaign. Because you are kind of like... Caught up in that corner. You've got the mountains to the south, which are a nightmare to navigate. So you don't really want to. So, I mean, it, they are quite insular. So that would kind of make sense. You do have the caravans. But I do think the caravans... Probably don't get strong enough and you don't have enough control over them to let them get attacked on the campaign map would be my would be my thoughts. But, you know, I do like the caravan mechanic. Cathay and all, just, just good. I, th I think it's going to be better in Immortal Empires, though. I think it's going to be a much better campaign in Immortal Empires. Assuming they don't, you know, really fuck over Immortal Empires. But uh, I guess we'll have to see if that is the case. Vote in the polls for the next campaign type and faction. Until then... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next campaign.